Welcome back to the Convo Couch. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Pasta Jardula, and over there I have Johnny Sue on the ones and twos. You're going to see a lot of them in this uh, particular episode because uh, Johnny has a story. Should we get some more light on you first? Because I think you're kind of a little shadowed. All right, that's better. So, Johnny Sue. Yes. You kept me up all last night. I was up all night. I will never, ever, ever blow off a situation like I did with this one. I really, you know what, the bed, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody even wrote an email and said, I think Pasta's falling behind on the Epstein stuff because of the video he sent us about Ghislaine Maxwell being an in and out. And I just totally dismissed it and said, no effing way. But Johnny, what you showed me yesterday blow, blew my mind, and it's going to blow your mind today as well. Tell us what you got. All right. So, as you know, yesterday, if you saw the live stream, we were live at the in and out and uh, we were able to get video of that. Uh, but we only got the second table, right? Later on, about like an hour later, we went back, <laughs> and yeah. I got the, the actual picture of uh, the table that we were supposed to get. And that is right here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I also just want to point out, as Johnny's saying this, that they had somebody out there that said, don't film, uh, because they've been getting people coming by there after they saw this particular picture. Um, they said people have been flocking there to this spot. And as you can That's see, right. Johnny took a beautiful picture, almost the exact picture of the angle in which we saw Ghislaine. Go ahead, buddy. Right. Yeah. So you can see this is the picture. You can see the uh, the poster here. Um, so what we know about what we know for sure that we can verify is that the poster as of when we took the picture. And I think, you know, a couple days after Ghislaine was spotted is the ER poster that everyone's been saying. Uh, now, right there. Let me uh, let me pull up this. So that's the only thing like that we can really verify, right? <laughs> and uh, in the New York Post, they were the first ones to come out with the pictures uh, of just laying at the In and Out, okay? And they claimed that uh, she was, you know, sitting alone with a pet pooch. She was surprised to have been found. Well, I guess it's the last time I'll be eating here. Hmm. Uh, and they also mentioned the CIA book, which is uh, interesting. We'll get into that in a second. But basically, you know, this whole narrative was on purpose, is what I'm saying. Um, Whitney Webb mm -hmm. on Graham Elwood's show she's says... She's also been on the uh, Real News Network. She's, she's been on the Real News stuff. Network. She's been, I think someone said, on the Empire Files as well. Yeah. She's from Mint Press, and she connects the dots all the way back to the 50s. When it comes to sex trafficking. Yeah, all the way back to the 50s. Um, what did she say? So she was saying that uh, the New York Post is owned by Mr. Rupert Murdoch. We all know that name. And I know you've all heard of that. If you're watching this channel, you've probably heard of Rupert Murdoch. But uh, we're not sure about how that connection to Epstein, uh, if it even connects to Epstein or Ghislaine, uh, other than that he's media- and Ghislaine's father was media. But there you go. Owned by a sketchy dude. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. The Daily Mail on Saturday, August 17th, posted another article regarding this topic, claiming that they uh, got a hold of the, uh, the ad agency that put up the poster uh, the, uh, that, that is in charge of these bus stop posters. Mm -hmm. Now... They said that uh, they said after contacting the company behind the ad spot, the Daily Mail was reportedly told that the hospital ad had been in place since July 28 and then ad for good boys had never been placed there. A spokesp spokesperson for the ad agency in question out front media is the uh, is the agency that is the ad agency told the Daily Mail that it is believed that um, good boys poster had been photoshopped in. A legal expert even suggested that the photo could have been planted by Maxwell herself to throw off the FBI. Now, uh, this guy, the Outer Lights, which is what was emailed to us, he uh, clued us to just how big Outfront Media is. A company, and at this specific location, none other 
than the senior director of communications for this con uh, company called Onfront Media, with well, this particular end of Onfront Media, who supply those billboards, sell the advertising space, said that it wasn't supposed to be there. So as just reference here, it's a $15 billion company. They have not 15. It's $1.5 billion company. That's how much they make every year. All right, now, all right, let's stop for one second. Let's unpack this because I think we're just before we go any further. So what happens is the New York Post comes up with a picture, right, Johnny? Yes. People go to the spot. They flock to the spot. People they go over to the there. Spot. The first thing they notice is that in that picture that the billboard or the small mini billboard on the bus stop is not the same as what's in the picture. Correct. So first things first is people like, let's contact this company, right? And it's called yeah. uh, Upfront? Is that what it's called? Upfront. Or? Outfront Out Media. Now you're saying it's a 1.5 billion or million? Billion. Billion dollar company. Billion with a B. So they do billboards, they do ads everywhere. They yes. probably have- Yeah, they have ads in the uh, the New York, with the, what was that? What was the spot with all the ads? The strip. Uh, you talk about Times Square. Times Square. So okay, this is the company that handles all these. They, ha movie they have a couple spaces there. So, so they're a company that's big, and it's likely to think that maybe so one point five dollar billion billion dollar yeah. company. It's easy to trust them, right? It's easy to trust them. All right, let's keep going. Uh, <laughs> no, you're saying it's easy to trust their word that they didn't. They they know for a fact that that wasn't changed. So in other words, you're saying that it's a big I'm company. I'm saying I don't fucking trust you this don't big trust ass them. company, they conglomerate this. company that's one point five yeah. billion dollars in revenue, and that they could have easily switched the uh, the poster. Well, physically, you're an engineer and you you're really handy around the house. How long do you think it would take to switch one of those things out there? Dude, possibly? that's that's just a lock and switch, and uh, I'm I'm not I'm not clued into the specifics of the poster. I'm sure they put some type of glue or something, but. Um, if you look at the original picture, you'll see that this does not look Photoshop to me. It looks real. It looks it, like the pixelation around everything around it is fine. Now, the only photo that is Photoshopped, uh, the only thing that's Photoshopped in this photo is people's faces. Um, and then this is the bigger photo is what I wanted to kind of emphasize that the, the Daily Mail kind of posted this zoomed out picture, whereas the New York Post put posted a zoomed in picture so you can see the two cups the two phones the if you look down there what what is that that's what, the dog paw you little, talked about little dog paw and then there's a tray okay yeah. so so their picture was different than the new york post you're talking about the daily mail is it yeah the new york post is is just a zoomed in picture it's just a crop picture yeah and then uh everyone's just running with the story that oh yeah she got seen and everything uh yeah so we take a we take a closer look and it's actually like you know a bigger picture um why did the new york post only post these uh Crop zoomed in ones. photos yeah it's questionable and they didn't even post this third photo why didn't they post this third this photo? the side photo now this is all the daily mail right this is this is coming from the daily mail and it and you can see down here in the left hand corner uh in the left hand corner here it's by a, a company called mega uh, I looked into them. They they seem sketchy. I don't know about I don't know about that company. Which it's, company? Now? It's not, it's not the uploading file mega files. It's uh, it's the the mega company. It's called the the mega company. Now that's where the picture came from, right? The, uh, that's yeah. That's what they're saying. And they you, they, you, you they, talked about the app with me. I think they have an app. They have an app that I think it's like for paparazzi to kind of like just on on the fly take a picture and then post it up and then they can get paid for it or something. Yeah. But they were pushing that idea back in 2017. I looked at a cash version of their website, but then now in 2019, you know, you go to their website and uh, it's not that's not what they're pushing. Let me see what what is this? Now, is the picture on the side too. I think a lot of people are gonna say certain stuff they the, what about like the cropping to the right of her back like right to the back and the uh, you can see like it was something was done over there okay so here's here's can you explain that theory okay first of all okay the the company the agency is called the mega agency the mega google agency them, look it up okay it's uh let me just google it real quick it's uh the mega agency okay use the, the cozy their app has one review their app has one review. They have one. They have an app on iPhone. And it's one review, um, and then basically they're just they have they provide pictures to media outlets, okay. But 
this is now what their site looked like. You can take a look at the uh, time time machine or uh, uh, cache archive. Okay. Now, you can see here that this photo was photoshopped intentionally. Yes. Why did they Photoshop the trash can behind Ghislaine? Because if you check our live stream video, you can see, and if you check Google Google Maps, you can see that this trash can is actually on the inside. Um, I don't know why. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm not. I'm, I didn't really look into that. I didn't look into that. I was. Just, it's just something. It just something for you guys to look yeah. to look yeah. at. And I'm, I just want to point out that trash can in real life is on the inside. Okay. Not on the out, uh, out, not outside of that brick wall. And, and for the people that are on our our our, our uh, chat asking these questions, Johnny's going to get to that because we talked about that. He's going to explain why the cups after. But let him let him unpack this because it's important to understand what's going on. Because yeah. as we're looking at these pictures, we're looking at the validity of these pictures. We're questioning who's what, where are they coming from, and Johnny has researched every single rabbit hole of where this stuff is coming from. So go on, John. Okay. So. After seeing all that, I came to the conclusion that Ghislaine herself staged this photo. Uh, I'm not sure about the Good Boys poster. It could have been Photoshop. Or, you know, the billion dollar company could have lied. Mm -hmm. What makes more sense? Uh, also, that would be the most fo best Photoshop I've ever seen. And I've been looking through forums and everything. And everyone's like, yeah, this would have been a great Photoshop. Like, it does not look Photoshopped. I use Photoshop. Uh, but I'm not a professional Photoshopper. I'll tell you that. Um, okay, but let's get to the why. Why would Ghislaine stage this? If we look back at the New York Post, they directly link to the book she was supposedly reading. Okay. So they link to the book. That book has got to have some answers in it. Now, you go to the book. Here it is on Amazon. Legit. You can go. This. You can do it yourself. Um, and here we are. We come to the book. And, hey, what's the first review? Oh, it's by a G. Maxwell. My. Now, this is where, ladies and gentlemen, I started to get a little skeptical. And I mean, that's skeptical, but just now we're getting creepy as can be because you got to read. Johnny, read. Not only does a G. Maxwell, and it's dated for August 15, 2019. August 15. Literally the day she, she, got, she got cited. That was August 15th. Okay. Go ahead now. Read this. Okay. Can I read it? In, in conjunction, they, they posted this. Uh, uh, yeah, you read it. A good friend of mine died recently under tragic circumstances. Some of us saw it coming for quite a while, but it was still a huge shock when it finally happened. I picked up this book at the advice of a friend and absolutely couldn't put it down. I read it walking the dog, getting fast food, or even just lounging around the house. It helped me realize that my friend really believed in something. And that giving your life for the CIA, NSA, FBI, Mossad, or other intelligent agency is truly a higher calling and not something to mourn. A wholehearted recommendation. I mean, weird as hell, right? Weird as hell. Okay, skepticism says... Accounts made up. Hey, you can just, you know, the account's made up or someone used an old account and just changed the name. So, I went to Amazon. I have an Amazon account. And I found out, yes... You can change your name. I changed my name from Jonathan to Johnny Tsunami. And, and all my reviews changed accordingly. Now, what the other thing you need to take into account and take into consideration is how old this account is and how long they've been reviewing items and what items they've been reviewing and what, what, are these, what is the context of these reviews. So let's take a look. If you click on G. Maxwell here, boom. You can see uh all this activity january 2019 december 2018 we keep going keep going keep going keep going oh 2014 okay 2014 2014 more it's books been around for a while more <laughs> books more books weird books weird books uh keep going 2013 2013 2012 okay okay so the thing about it is, John, is that you see a lot of these messages and they are very cryptic. Like it's once again, I said, well, when was this account started? I expected right. it to be started maybe a year ago when <sighs> when got news of Epstein coming around. But it goes dates back already all, all the way to 2012. 
And there's another message you see right over here. And Johnny, you got to put this one up. Uh, uh, this one was dated April 21st, 2014. Yeah, this is a week up. after my birthday. Uh, not that one. <clears throat> okay, so this one in 2014. Okay. Green screen, low price. All lower caps. And then it goes in. Great screen, low craps. I mean, low price. What could be better? We are really enjoying our new LCD monitor. And with Prime, it's shipped free. Now... Look at every word that's capitalized in that sentence. I, I put it out down here. G S L P W C B B and then the we I kept together. We and then A R E O N L M A W P I S and then the F R is capitalized as well. Uh the title is intentionally lowercase. The sentences are all intentionally beginning with capital letters. LCD doesn't have LCD capitalized like everyone usually capitalizes. The we and the FR in free, you know, it's all suspicious. If anyone has any clue into any type of like deep state communication, <laughs> some CIA cryptic. Sh cryptic shit. Because it's uh, Alex Acosta said Epstein is intelligence. Ghislaine Maxwell's father. It's rumored that he was Mossad. Yeah. You don't think he would have clued her, his daughter into some of that stuff? Now, when people say that, uh, I think that Ghislaine has a meaning for it. Somebody told me about this before. It means uh, gifted or committed or something like that. Uh, that um, Ghislaine's life work was to uh, serve... This intelligence community, and you can see right in the middle, it says we are on, and whatever. You know, what I'm saying it's it's a form of communication. We think, um, Johnny, you said yourself that you believe that Guy Lane is trying to communicate with somebody. Yeah, I mean, bottom line, what I'm trying to get uh, the point I'm trying to get across is that I think Guy Lane or Gis Lane is communicating with Epstein or someone of interest to her. Uh, you know, because they can't call each other up; they're under investigation right now. And uh, they know how to communicate by other ways. You know, she's Epstein is deep state, according to Alex Acosta. And uh, Ghislaine Maxwell's father, yeah. Mossad. Connected all, all, not just Mossad. Okay. Had well, connections all to communist parties, all right. too. All over the place. So, so yeah. you know, maybe, okay, my theory, you know, by itself, you know, it's just no, there's no theory. And I've, I've, this, I thought of all this right before this, this, the Daily Mail came out with a new one. It came out with one yesterday, the 19th. This is, it even gets more fun, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday, Check this out. The 19th. Exclusive. Ghislaine Maxwell staged in and out photo in Los Angeles with her close friend and attorney using confidant's dog, Dexter, Dexter. in the snapshot. <sighs> so, you know what Johnny's going to do? He's going to find out if Dexter's got any accounts or if anybody, if, if Dexter's anywhere. Here, here, and what does it say in the article? Here, here's some key things. Okay. They're saying, they're claiming, this is what Daily, Daily Mail is claiming. It was staged by her close friend and attorney, Leia Safian. Uh, she was photographed in Los Angeles. We were there. Uh huh. Safian 60 is president of Meadowgate Media, which was. In the photographs, metadata reviewed by Daily Mail, and uh, the the so then the the way it works is you can put metadata into a picture. Okay. And so it's for a copyright and stuff like that. So she put Meadowgate. Uh, now, it's saying that Safian and fellow barrister Alun June Alun Jones C represented Maxwell's brother, Kevin. For the firm Peters and Peters in the British courts, so Kevin's over in in in, in Britain or Great Britain, you know, chilling, uh, and uh, yeah, and they go into detail. They go into huge detail. Um, this is actually Leia uh, Saf Safian, right here. I've seen this picture. I've I found it. I went on to Instagram. They they go to her Instagram. Here's her Check Instagram. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. L e dot a h. Two, five, and that's four. Dexter right there, right? That's Dexter. Look, this is the Instagram. That's There's the, the dog. dog. Taking a picture with Guy Lane. There's a, it's the same dog. And there's Kevin Maxwell. You guys need to check this article out. But, okay, we're like, oh, I got to see this for myself. Here we are. Here we are on Instagram. Yeah, I'm not a follower, by the way. <sighs> I actually hit a heart on a picture 
and whatnot. But as I was going through the pictures, what I wanted to find out more than anything, John, as I told you, is I, I want a location. No picture has a location except for one, and that's the blue wave. The blue wave, yeah. Yeah. So if you click on the blue wave, look here. Here, here he is. There's yeah, Dexter. Look, look there's at Dexter. Dexter right here's his blue wave. Where's that say? California, USA. So Dexter has been in taking well, pictures, maybe. Well, according to to the Daily Mail, is uh, she has property. Uh, Leia S S Safian has properties in San Diego and somewhere else in California. Uh, but you see this is not, not too many people like it. Uh, I also did a search, a hashtag search of Le uh, Leia Safian. See, there's one post, Leia Safian. Boom. That picture. Now that there's Leia right there, and then they tag. I haven't even seen this picture. They tag uh, this this lady here, this MV MCVCM, who's that that this rich this rich lady that I was telling you about, Pasa. Mm -hmm. This guy, uh, what's his name, Mark Vander Linden Royalty, who comments on on Leia's uh, picture uh, photos. I'll show you that real quick, and we'll come back to this. Um. Uh, let me show you. Okay. Uh, yeah. So like this picture, he commented on there. Mac Vander Linden. What a great picture. Fifty-eight weeks ago. Um, I'm surprised that hasn't been taken down. Yeah, n nothing's been taken down. I thought, I thought uh, MCVS scene was taken down, but she didn't actually get taken down. So yeah. So then we're back to this picture. Okay, so who the f who the hell is MCVCM? Okay, Michelle Zazarin von Chudenitz, founder CEO of Epic Media, formerly formerly founder CEO of PPMG, uh, Epic Media. And if you just take a look, you can look through her Instagram. It's public, which is not smart for her, who is obviously in. Uh, Definitely. I mean, she's friends with ritzy stuff. She's friends with friends of Ghislaine Maxwell, so there's a good chance that they might not know each other too. Who knows? Who knows? But once again, is it connected to another media company where they seem to be using the media and using well, Hollywood? If you look at the followers of uh, of uh, Miss uh, Safian here, you have a uh, you got you got some you got some uh some some truthers here following her now <laughs> but uh <laughs> that's funny um where is this lady that i saw who also owns another media company colleen kirk president ceo of the kirk group so there's media moguls or media groups all over and the let place me, let me go back to the other guy what was his name what uh this guy Mark Van Der Linden. Mark he, Van Der Linden, we also looked about too as well. He owns some. Uh, he owns a media company in the Netherlands or something. This is all Norfolk uh, language here. So there's a lot of media connections. A lot of people who knows. I mean, we really don't know much about these people. We're just kind of connected, and they're friends of of people who are friends of Ghislaine Maxwell, who we think are friends of Ghislaine Maxwell. Leia Safian. She's predominantly a lawyer, attorney at law. And she has all these media friends, you know. Yeah. So that's interesting uh, to 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 see. Um, I feel like there's uh, something we're missing here, we're, we're a connection we're missing here. Uh, so basically, you know, uh, there's a bunch of powerful people that she knows connected to media, to Leia, who is an attorney, and she supposedly has her own media company too. So, this is all, this is all weird. Like, I, somebody put that poor dog. I'm like, that dog's probably the best kept dog in, in the world with these elites. They treat their dogs good and they treat humans around them like ants. So, at the end of the day, John, let's talk about this. Now that we went through everything, I will never look past anything because I thought it was imme immediately Fugazi that Elaine Maxwell would show her face. Yeah. But now I'm seeing her no, so with a hat, glasses. Go to in and out sit down, eat, take it off for a quick picture, maybe put stuff back on and get out of there. I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Like, she went probably hooded and shit. Like, you know, like, it was a little sweater, little sweater thing, you know? Yeah. Not nothing heavy. It was light. Um, and then she probably got food with her friend, Leia, and then they sat down and were like, and I don't know, it looks like, I'm telling you, it looks like she was trying to send a message to somebody. Yeah. So um, you think there's a message to be sent there? You think it's a stage photo? message sent 
something that goes in. And yes, we do read the comments here as best we can, ladies and gentlemen. We do, but so I'm usually the one that reads the comments. Now, yeah, and I've been I'm looking at the more than this time and and whatnot because he's been concentrating on the information. So the purpose of the photo, Sir Cliff, is what we're trying to discuss, because you know now we have a message from Amazon. We don't, we can't verify 1,000 percent sure. That it's Ghislaine Maxwell, but we, we did look verify. back. We can't verify. I mean, if we ha if I was Amazon, I would look into it. If I was Snapchat, I would, I would, I would look at all the snaps. I'll, if I, I would look at all the snaps that were taken at In and Out that day, that hour, or the, the days before that, to see if the Good Boys poster was there. If I was In and Out, I'd have, I'd, I'd put out the footage to the world. But they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. I mean. They're not going to do that because there's they, really to tell you the truth. In and out would probably have cameras showing that she sat there, and that hasn't come out. And it, it, you know, I mean, there's not. I mean, this thing is crazy. I, it makes me stutter. It makes me lose my mind. It makes me not sleep at night. I literally came down to say goodbye to Johnny, to say goodnight to Johnny around one o'clock, and Johnny's like, "Wait a second, pasta, you got to take a look at this." I didn't go to sleep till three thirty, and John was up for another two hours after that to five thirty in the morning. But you can't write stuff like this, and I don't even know what to think because it doesn't look like a uh, uh, it doesn't look like a Photoshop picture. You know what I'm saying? And it, it I am not it's not beyond my mind, my realm of possibilities to think that that's that could have been switched out. The the good boys. I I don't yeah. It's possible. It's absolutely a worker. Possible. I mean, you're talking about a billion dollar company. You could pay a worker here. I'll give you five hundred dollars to go put the good boys poster in and then get it out. Because it could be a coded message, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, uh, the uh, the video. Uh, what was that guy's name? The uh, the light. Uh, let me see what this guy's okay. name. And let me throw a theory out there too. While you're looking something up, when you guys start talking about Mossad guys, it's Mossad. It's that easy. No, it's not. Because the Mossad could be connected to our CIA intelligence. We don't know if there's a turf yeah, war going know. on right now. We don't know if they have agreements. They probably have. A, it could be like yeah. some mafia shit. Like, well, a know, lot of we people think it's territory. a turf war. The Clintons versus the Trumps or, or or whatever's going on. I mean, Donald Trump has seemed to make a lot of deals with the Saudi government and the Israeli government when he got in. So who knows what's going on? Who knows if Mossad's not split? Who knows if they have they don't have Clinton loyalists there? There's a lot of Clinton business still around. So who knows who's calling what or doing what? It's not that simple. It's not simple. This is a super complicated... And it just goes deep. Oh, oh, I wanted to emphasize on some of the reviews that she did. Um... <laughs> These are some weird ass reviews. There are cryptic messages in these reviews. <laughs> Guys, go to the Amazon G Maxwell yourself. Yeah, go go take go a look yourself, dude. Like, and that last is... message to me is still that last message had me thinking in my looking up on August fifteenth, and I really thought I, I was like, this is this is this is the somebody's just messing with us now. Something is just me messing with us. Aren't the good boys white supremacists? The good boys. There was a movie just produced by Seth Rogen. About three young boys that try to get home and they have all these obstacles. So why wasn't Maxwell charged? Who knows why? Okay, read this one. So Monsters in the Dark. Have y'all heard of this book? I've never heard of this oh, book. Oh, that's a great book. Monsters in the Dark. Uh, hold on. Where is this? Oh, my God. I got to find it again. Um, Go ahead. You read it because it's a little blurry for me. Yeah, I'll read it. Uh, Look at the cover of the, of the box. It's a woman chained up, roped up, tied up. While there's some arms like of a male behind him, very Jeffrey Epstein-ish. Uh, uh, we don't know what he did. I mean, it it is probably in the indictment in the papers, you know. But uh, okay, what I wanted to see was her her review of this. It says, "A tough but enthralling read. Okay. This is a dark and sometimes painful study of twisted desire and human trafficking. Both the main characters seem to revel in the painful aspects of sex with plenty of bloodshed during lovemaking." The, the scenes of sex slavery and the kidnapping rings are very graphic and difficult to read at times, but winter keeps you enthralled, if horrified. This couple deserves some happiness after the events portrayed, although you are never sure they will get it. A good story, but tough to take at times. It kept me awake at night. March 15, 2016. 2016. And that's like kind of even talking about this couple deserve some form of happiness trying to justify what they're doing. She tried to justify what she was doing in that last one, um, in the, the last uh, Amazon review, it seemed. I mean, this is, I don't even know what to think, ladies and gentlemen, but you have to, uh, I'm glad we went down this and talked about this stuff, but that's really, really, really cryptic. 
Could it be a coincidence? Of course it could I want to read this book. I want to read this book. Has anyone read this book? Anyone read this book? It's a weird-ass book. Why are they selling that? <laughs> Can we do some shout-outs real quick? We're almost 400 people online. Let's do some shout-outs. I'm going to do some shout-outs since Johnny taking his time ms justice thank you for joining in brett fairchild thank you for saying it's interesting let me look back at some comments here there's there you look back there are some people interesting talking about Mossad and where they are at rudolph uh spite fugrat thank you so much crystal clear you're there a learned hand how you doing um money train james i've seen you over on get your news on jeanette LeBron. jeanette zanine yes everyone do check out graham's uh political vigilante uh uh interview with whitney webb uh dude whitney webb whitney webb is amazing dude uh lamelaney says the regular media stinks we agree that's why we're down here dj truth you know we're spitting the truth uh learned hand i already said your name but you get it twice because you're that good and the white rabbit is hanging around with jason goodman <laughs> Uh, over on the Facebooks, I believe we got somebody over there. We got Mikey Ungi. Is Ungi in the house? Ungi's in the house. Michael Cruz. Michael Cruz. Chow Fun. Chow Fun. Learn Hand. Did you already call Learn Hand? Three times now. The man's getting <laughs> a lot of play and stuff. Von Anon. <laughs> well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we had to go down the rabbit hole. We had to look at these things and take a look at them. Uh, when I, like I said, when I first saw it, I immediately took one look and said, I'm not even peeking at this stuff and i started looking into what was going on at st james island uh in the virgin islands and I, you gotta wonder why they're called them but um uh shout out to allison Irwin, white rabbit truth lover markava three she says hello from california um, zizariah's money train james I already said that name you already did so, Johnny, do we have anything to add, to add to the story? We have to leave it off with the fact that we don't know if the picture was fake, real, staged. No, so here's what, here, here's what I'm leaving. Uh, here's what you're leaving. Here's what I'm leaving. The photo is real. The photo is real. This photo is real. That photo real. I don't think she was photoshopped in. And honestly, I I personally think the Good Boys poster was not photoshopped in. Uh, uh, but it could, it, it's a possibility that, you know, the billion dollar company is telling the truth. Um, the other thing is that this, these other, you're not pictures, chopped liver old gringo, by the way, <laughs> these <laughs> old gringo, um, Fiorello. Okay. Yeah. The other thing is, I don't know. The stories all are all like, oh yeah, it's it's Photoshop, but this is the only picture that's like literally like badly photoshopped, like for sure, a hundred percent. It's photoshopped over here with the trash can, and over here at the bottom, which doesn't make any freaking sense to me. It just doesn't make sense. So, and I explained the two cups and the two trays, and uh, it's just the fact that she was with her friend Leia Safian, and she's she. The book looks like it's fuck. It looks like it's blank. But uh, and oh oh, the other thing about the reviews is that they were all Kindle reviews, and they weren't they weren't for anything paperback. So I'm telling you, she set this picture up like she set it up. She's she's trying to do something. The word trade is uh, I, I'm reaching here. The word trade is in the picture. Maybe they want to make a trade or something. She'll trade herself for Epstein. Like she she'll do that. She'll do some crazy. I don't know. Maybe she'll trade information for him. There's so many things. Look, it says trade, and now Epstein moved out. He's not alive. Wow. There's so many crazy things. The good boys on the other side, and I don't. I don't listen. It. It. It's very easy with people with money to say that a, a guy can come by, change that out, and then change it back within hours and have a timed set photo. Like you said, a stage photo. Boom. Take the picture. It's there. Uh, there's cameras. A red herring, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. Oh, yeah. A red herring. So no one focuses on the, um, what's it called? The the uh, His papers that he released. Mm. Who knows? Who knows? Um, you got anything else, Johnny Sue? Not really. Y'all should definitely check out her, the Amazon. The book is called, what is it called? Um, the first book, Something in Spies. It's that message to me is still the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life on Amazon which she says it's it's great to give yourself to the CIA and the NSN it's not I want to read that book too um the the book is called the book of honor the secret lives and deaths of yeah. CIA operatives 
And don't worry about that, Allison Murphy. We're going to get into why the DNC is blo blocking Tulsi Gabbard. We're going to be getting into on Carella Friday. Carella kind of got into that yesterday. She did. We did a whole thing on the polls. That the polls are all rigged. Friday morning, we're going to do another show with uh, Treasure, our lawyer, about the fair use doctrine. And we're going to talk a little bit. We have a data dump we still have to explain. We haven't even got to because this news has been just consuming all our time. But we were able to get a chance to go down to the in and out. So we know that people have gone down there for sure. Yeah, um, and there was an article that came out that said a lot of people were going to the in and out. Flocking there. Flocking there, it says. Flocking. We were flocking. So we're going to get out of here. Uh, thank you so much to our new patrons. If, if you have a, a chance, go to our Patreon. Help us out. The information's all down below. We got a Twitter. Check us out on Rockfin. We actually posted the uh, yes. the Daily Mail uh, article, uh, the one that goes basically the, the conclusion of our show. Uh, this article was posted um, on Rockfin. On Rockfin. And if you want to get any of our articles, Johnny's been putting all our articles over there and some good information. It's oh, Go to our Rockfin. Check it out. Uh, it's all about raging against the machine because it's all about uh, a blockchain and dealing with cryptocurrencies and telling Wall Street to go scratch. Anything else, my man, before we get on out? Nope. Nope. My mind is still in a jumble. And, or, you know, crazy. I'm going... There's so much, so much to, to juggle. There's, well, there's disconnection, that connection, this connection. <laughs> well, just wait for Mikey uh, Treasure Santucci to email you something or text you with something new. We might have some more Epstein uh, news. As I mean, you can't write this stuff. This stuff is crazy when you go down these rabbit holes. For Johnny Tsunami, Pasta Jardula, Convo out. Peace.